go, here we, here we go. Here we go, here we, here we go. Here we go, here we, here we go. Here we go, here we, here we go. What's going on, guys? Welcome to story time with Rice. Anyways, let's do the shit. So it was an average day, ordinary day, no biggie, no biggie, nothing special. It was a school day, a Friday, best day of the week. I wake up, get ready for school, hop in the shower, get wet. That's what she said. Got back out, put some clothes on, went downstairs, ate some breakfast, got my shit together, and then I headed off to school. So as usual, I head off to first period, you know, do all my history and shit. Second period was graphics design for me. Uh, third period was English. So, you know, after I got done with second and third period, I walked to fourth period. Now, usually every time I finish a period or a class, <laughs> a period, just kidding. After I finish a class, I usually pat down my pants, you know, to, to make sure I have all my shit together. So I tapped on my right butt cheek and surprise, surprise, my wallet wasn't there. So at that moment, I was just standing there in shock and like, where the fuck did it go? And at that moment, I just knew, you know, if I came home with no wallet, my mom's gonna give me an ass whooping of a lifetime. So, you know, I was like, hell no, I'm not coming home without a wallet. So I walked to my fourth period, which was chemistry, told my teacher I had to go find my wallet. He was like, okay with it, so I just went. So uh, imagine my school, uh, like you're looking at it. Fourth period was on the left side of the school, so I, you know, I had to walk all the way back to first period, which was on the right side of the school. And it approximately takes like five minutes to walk from one side to the other, if you're uh, at a good pace. Which for me, I was walking really slow, and um, I got there in like 8 minutes or so. Kind of made some stops, had a bathroom break, and then I went on with my journey. So I head off to first period, and you know, I open the door, walk in, ask my teacher if he's seen my wallet, and he said no. You know, I look around where I sat, and there was no wallet to be found, I asked the people around them, nothing. So I head off to the second period, which is graphic design, so I had to walk all the way to the left side of the school. Which took about another 8 minutes. Now this time, I don't know why it took 8 minutes, but it took 8 minutes. I guess I was just exhausted from the marathon I just fucking walked. But anyways, I walked into class. Cool teacher, cool teacher asked if she saw anything. She said no. And you know, I was like, alright. All good. So I walked back out. Now, at that point, I realized that my third pier was on the right side of the school. Where my first period was, but on the top floor. So I could have just walked up the stairs after I was done looking at my first class, which was pretty retarded of me. So now I gotta walk all the way to the right of the campus, which took another five minutes or so. This time, I, you know, I was jogging. And uh, right when I went into the building, there was a flight of stairs. Now, out of this whole journey, that was the real obstacle. It was 20 flight of stairs, I walked up at the top, heavy breathing, just felt like my asthma attack was about to roll in. Walking up those flight of stairs was basically my daily cardio workout. Anyways, I walked to third period, which was English class. So I opened the door, you know, asked the teacher, have you seen anything? She said no. Cool teacher again. Some of the buddies of mine are in the back. And I asked them, hey guys, have you seen anything? And they said no. It's like, have you seen a wallet? And they said no. And you know, I don't trust these motherfuckers. So I you know, looked them dead in the eye and I'm like, are you sure you haven't seen anything? Straight face, no, I haven't seen anything. And I'm just like, I'm watching you. Like that one slug chick in uh, Monsters, Inc. I'm watching you, Mike Wazowski. Anyways, I went back to fourth period and you know, my heart's still beating because you know, I'm like, fuck, where did I put the wallet? Did I drop it? Did someone steal it? You know, I'm just like... Like, at the moment, I just knew, I'm fucked, yo. Like, there's no way I can get out of this. After not finding anything in third period, I walked back to fourth period, and the whole time I walked back, I was just thinking about, you know, where where would I put my wallet? Thinking back, okay, where did I drop the shit? I felt like a fucking detective, yo. After I was finished with all my three periods, you know, I went home, ran as fast as I could home, and then uh, waited for my mom to come home, told her. I was like, mom, I'm sorry, but I lost my wallet. And she was looking at me like, like I was a fucking comedian. She's like, are you sure you lost your wallet, Ryan? I'm like, yeah, mom, I lost my wallet. And she was like, okay. I was like, that was easy. I thought there would be uh, an ass whooping. So she walked upstairs, you know. I didn't know what she was doing. I was sitting at my desk, came back down, and she was like, Ryan? I was like, yeah, mom. Like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat, she pulled my wallet out of her pocket. That moment, I was, I was in shock. I was like, what the fuck? Mom! You're a magician! She looked at me, dead serious, and was like, Do you know where you dropped it? I was like, School? She was like, No, Ryan, you dropped it in front of the house. And as a detective, I was like, thinking back in time, like, Okay, how the fuck did I drop this in front of my house? 
Like, I would have known if I dropped it in front of the house. Plus, I walked home and, you know, I didn't see anything in front of the house. So I was like, okay, am I blind? Is this shit camouflaged? I was like, Mom, I, I didn't see it drop in front of the house. It's just like, I know. It was in your jeans. I was like, shit. Now, at that point, I felt like a complete idiot. Because I was just, you know, running around school thinking I had dropped it somewhere. But in reality, it was in my jeans. At home. Just lying there. From yesterday. So if you want to take away something from this story, basically, remember to take your shit out of your pockets when you come home from school or doing anything else. Either you're working at a grocery store or you're a prostitute. Just remember to take things out of your pocket because I don't want you guys to look like a complete idiot just like I did. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little commentary, my little story. If you guys did, leave a like and a comment. And I will talk to you guys later. Full